In today's video, we'll be discussing 15 React Native interview questions that are commonly asked in beginner level interviews. If you're new to React Native or preparing for an interview, this video is for you. So, let's get started. What is React Native? React Native is an open source framework developed by Facebook that allows you to build mobile applications using JavaScript and React. It enables developers to create cross-platform applications that can run on both iOS and Android devices. What is the difference between React and React Native? React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces primarily for web applications. React Native, on the other hand, is a framework that uses React to build mobile applications. Let's talk about the advantages of using React Native. Some advantages of React Native include code reusability, native performance, and hot reloading. You can write a single code base and deploy it on both Android and iOS platforms, achieving better performance through the use of native components and instantly seeing changes in the app without a full rebuild. Now, what is JSX? JSX is an extension to JavaScript syntax used in React. It allows you to write HTML-like code within JavaScript. JSX is not mandatory for using React Native, but it's commonly used to define the structure and layout of components. Let's dive into components. What are React Native components? React Native components are the building blocks of a user interface in React Native. They are reusable and self-contained pieces of code that encapsulate the logic and appearance of a part of the user interface. What is the difference between state and props? State is used to manage internal component data that can change over time. It is managed within the component and can be updated using the setState method. Props, short for properties, are passed down from a parent component to a child component and are immutable. The render method is essential in React Native. Could you explain its purpose? The render method is a lifecycle method in React Native that returns the JSX code to be rendered on the screen. It is called whenever the state or props of a component change, and it updates the user interface accordingly. What is the significance of the setState method in React Native? The setState method is used to update the state of a component. When called, it triggers a ray render of the component and its child components, reflecting the updated state in the user interface. Let's talk about the key prop in React Native. Why is it important? The key prop is used to uniquely identify elements in a list or an array of components. It helps React Native efficiently update and ray render only the necessary components. What are React Native hooks? React Native hooks are functions that allow you to use state and other React features in functional components. Some commonly used hooks include use state for managing state and use effect for performing side effects in response to changes. Speaking of use effect, what is its purpose in React Native? The use effect hook in React Native allows you to perform side effects such as data fetching, subscribing to events, or manipulating the DOM after the component has rendered. It runs after every render unless specified otherwise. How do you handle user input in React Native? React Native provides various components, such as text input and touchable, to handle user input. You can capture user input by defining event handlers for these components and updating the state, or performing other actions accordingly. Moving on. What is the purpose of the style sheet component in React Native? The style sheet component in React Native is used to define and manage styles for components. It provides a way to write CSS like style objects, which are optimized for performance in the React Native environment. Let's talk about debugging React Native applications. How can it be done? React Native provides tools like React Native Debugger, 
React Developer Tools, and the Chrome Developer Tools for debugging. You can also use console log statements or leverage the debug module to log information and errors during development. Lastly, what is Expo in React Native? Expo is a set of tools and services that simplifies React Native development. It provides an abstraction layer over the native code and offers features like easy project setup, live reloading, and access to device API without requiring native build configurations. And that concludes our discussion on React Native interview questions for beginners. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.